Okay, so here we're um, doing an example that's usually uh, shown when uh, math econ books introduce uh, the concept of open sets and open balls. Um, but sometimes they don't include sort of just like a drawing. So if it's anyone's first time seeing it, maybe it's a little uh, confusing. So we'll just go through this. So we want to show that um, in two dimensions in R that the interval from C to D is an open set. Now, Hopefully at this point, they, uh, you've been introduced to the open balls or a neighborhood around a point X. Um, so the ball around X, when epsilon is uh, given to us here, is all points Y and R such that the distance between Y and X is less than epsilon. So for any point, that's just going to be, if we have X, it's all points Y that are sort of in a little ball around an epsilon distance around x. So all these points y are going to form this ball. So that's in three dimensions. In two dimensions, it's just going to be an interval here on the, on the real line. So what we want to do is to show that something's an open set, we need to show that for any x in the set, there's going to exist some epsilon such that the ball around x using that epsilon is going to be fully contained within the set we're working with. So there's kind of two, two things to consider here that we want to look at. So let's say we fix an x. Just choose an arbitrary x. It's not really arbitrary because I'm purposely choosing it over here. But given an x within cd, um, we want to find an epsilon that's going to make it so the interval is going to be completely contained within it. Now, the thing to look at here, um, we want to consider the distance between x and one of the endpoints. So if we do here x minus c as epsilon, then we would draw this line here. Should be a little more symmetrical, but that's going to be an epsilon distance from x. And clearly, all y within that th within that within that interval are contained within C D, right? Because it's less than this distance. This distance would put it at the endpoint, but it's less than that distance, so it's clearly contained within it. But we don't just want any endpoint, because what if it was over here? We wouldn't want to use if we had x. Let's just say x prime over here. We wouldn't want to use x minus c as epsilon because that would bring us all the way out to here, right? And this is not contained within our set, so we couldn't use that. What we want to use is the distance to the closer endpoint, which is going to be using the normal metric. We'd want epsilon prime to equal d minus x prime. So basically, for any x, we want to choose the minimum distance to an endpoint as our epsilon. So if we let our epsilon equal min of x minus c d minus x, then this will work for us. But obviously, this is using um, just the basic metric. If you have other metrics, you'll have to you know mess around a little bit, but you know you should be able to figure it out using the same sort of thinking here. So basically what we've shown here, the reason this has kind of given us our solution, is we've shown that for any arbitrary x within our set or within our interval, um, no matter what x you pick, if we use if we choose epsilon to equal the minimum of the distance from x to an endpoint, you're always going to be able to draw a ball that's going to be, or an epsilon interval in this case, that's going to be completely contained within the set. Um, you may want to flush it out a bit more, maybe show why this this has to be true, but um, it should be clear enough, and hopefully this example helps to understand this.